everybody. So this is kind of like a little last minute, especially because it's almost summer. But I wanted to do a quick video about some of my spring favorites. Um, spring's been a pretty decent season. I've had some really cool experiences and I've got four things that I want to talk about with you guys today. Uh, the first one is not something that I can physically hold in my hands, but it is in fact a video game. Uh, I was recently recommended by a good friend the game Rakuen. Um, Rakuen was developed by, I believe, Laura Shigihara is her name, and it is one of the most emotionally beautiful but devastating games I have ever played in my entire life. It's, it's difficult to explain because there's a series of quests. You play as a young boy who is in a hospital and your mother comes and brings you the key to your favorite storybook which allows you to enter the story and play through it. The people on the other side of the storybook are, have analogs to the other patients in the hospital with you. And you learn by exploring, you learn about the other people's stories, and it is just, boy, if you want to cry, this is the game for you. I highly recommend it. I think it's like 20 bucks on Steam. Uh, it sometimes goes on sale. It may be available other locations. I will put a link in the description for places you can buy it. If you're interested in actually watching me play through it, I did a playthrough on my Twitch channel and it has all been exported to the Stream Archive channel that I don't really talk about a whole lot. Uh, I will actually link one of those videos at the end of this one, so if you're interested in watching some of the stuff that I do on Twitch but don't often catch me live, that's a really great alternative. And um, sometimes if you just want some fun background noise, throw that on. So check it out. Uh, the next thing is actually a snack, because who would I be without having a snack to talk about? And I'm not sure how new these are, or how regional they are, because I know for a while hers was very regional. But hers released a jalapeno popper flavored cheese curl. And this is probably my favorite spicy cheese snack. Like, I'm a sucker for like hot and spicy Cheez-Its. Um, and I've tried some of the other jalapeno flavored cheese snacks. Like I know they do uh, Wise Jalapeno Popper Balls. Um, I know there's a Jalapeno Flamin' Hot Cheeto. But for me, this is a nice mellow flavor where you actually get the spice and the flavor of the jalapeno without being overwhelmed by just background heat. I know jalapenos are not the hottest in the world. But I found these at my local Wawa. I found the large bag at my local ShopRite. Um, so I would recommend checking in grocery stores, checking in convenience stores. If the store carries hers, they might be able to get those for you. I love these dang things. They're so good. They're so good. I just can't. I, I've gone through so many bags of these over the past, like, two weeks. It's obscene. It's genuinely obscene. But the next thing on my list for this spring's favorites is Detective Pikachu. Uh, now yes, I know this is Ludicolo. Um, I have I actually have two Detective Pikachu Ludicolo plush. Now, uh, I know that the movie may not be good. Uh, I know that it might not be everybody's cup of tea. But as a longtime Pokemon fan, uh, we went to go see it with a huge group of people from my local Pokemon Go group. And it was just so nice to have so many people there that were really into it. We had a great time, and the movie's fun. If you like Pokemon, if you've played the Detective Pikachu game, it's just fun, and it's really cool to see how they integrate Pokemon into a like modern society. How they live and they thrive in Rhyme City. And the twist at the end genuinely got me. I was not expecting where that went. 
So, no spoilers. I hope you guys get a chance to see it. If you haven't seen it yet and you want to, check it out. I'm sure it will be on demand soon or on Netflix soon or something like that. And lastly, this is kind of a unique one. Um, this is a vinyl toy and she just arrived yesterday. So in New York City they have a big vinyl toy patch pin expo called the Five Points Festival and I've wanted to go for years and it's just never been in my cards. But my friend Gracie, the, the one who, and Gracie is the one who made my intro, which I love super much, check her out on YouTube. Gracie posted a haul of hers from things that she'd gotten there on Instagram and I saw a doll created by um, Nightly Maid, who is the, uh, the artist that makes the Midnight Moon Bats. And I was so taken by this sweet handmade doll that I just followed that account immediately so I could keep up with it. And when I saw this particular flavor of the Midnight Moon Bat, she is the Sweet Fang variety. She's just my color. She's hot pink and black and she's got a Nega Moon on her forehead and I couldn't not. And she said that she had four left and if you were interested to send her a DM, and I did, and I got the last one. Uh, she was $50, but this is an art toy. I expect to pay that amount of money. And she's just, look at, I don't know if you guys can see the packaging inside, how she's like hanging upside down, cause she's just, she's a bat. And the box art is so cute. So, so, so super cute. This is adorable. This is a great purchase. I'm very excited cause I think, I think I might want to start collecting art vinyl but not like a lot because it's very expensive and I don't have that much money, but I really like it. So I feel like this is a good, a good piece to add to my collection. But yeah, uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. I know it's a little brief. I know it might not be in focus because nobody's home to help me focus the camera and I'm filming this by myself. But thank you guys so very much for hanging out and for watching. If you're interested in any of the things that I have talked about in this video, I will leave some links in the description so you can go check them out. My social media links are also in the description. If you'd like to see more from me in this channel, hit that little subscribe button, click the little bell, because if you want to stay in the know, the bell's the way to go. Likes and comments, let me know to keep doing what I'm doing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!